when people are on a bagel. I don't know where I'm going with that. You can eat people anytime. Mm, yep. People. And welcome back to another Linux GameCast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone, coming to you live from beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, joined by the man who's not up north, he's out west, because he's getting back from scale, or he's still at scale, preparing to get back from scale. He's in the, he's in the future past, man, that's Jordan Swing. Live via Hello. satellite. It's brilliant. Live via laptop. Laptop satellite. That's how it works, man. <laughs> La- laptop and a $70 Ethernet cable. Oh, man. man more than that's that. All you need. Stay tuned. Uh, yeah. Pedro Mateus, staying up late Hello. in Britannia, as always. <laughs> it's kind of brilliant. And together with you, live joining us in Chat Room Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, before we get started, we got to talk about the $70 Ethernet cable. I don't know what bothers yes, me more, do. that or the caffeine free diet. Pepsi. That's just <laughs> it's, wrong. It's, it's, it's just been one of those days, man. It's just been one of those fucking days. Yeah, so um, there, there, there is some debate as to whether or not there was a cable long enough to go from... Because th- this, this room here is at the back of the house, and the router is at the front of the house. We didn't know if Jill had a cable long enough, so Empty and I haul our butts down to Best Buy. And let me tell you, when you need to buy cables at Best Buy... They know they have you right in their fucking little claws because they will charge you $50 US, which the, the debit machine was oh. lovely enough to tell me, by the way, this is $71 Canadian oh. for, for a, uh, for a hundred foot cat six cable. It's brutal. Oof. Oh. It's, it's so yeah. brutal. And, then, and I, I, I get, I get to wash down that disappoint, d- disappointment with some caffeine free Pepsi, not hashtag not sponsored. Oh, <laughs> you know, you, you just got to imagine, man. I mean, you, Pepsi, thank you for making liquid spite. That's really all I can say about that. Pedro, what's up with you? Actually, can you uh, beat not that? much, you know, <laughs> considering what Jordan's just been through. Not much at all. <laughs> How about you, Ben? <laughs> man, uh, a lot of stuff. Everything might catch on fire on top of everything else. Uh, moved a lot of stuff around. If you've been keeping track, one of our fiber cards was acting up. As in acting up, I mean not working because all, t- all types of mysterious weird problems. So that's been swapped out with the quad port, Ethernet, Intel NIC. And another Nick, and then the AMD video card was like, ha ha, you need more problems in your life. It's like, yeah, I do. So there's a Quadro in the box right now, not doing anything because of reasons, and uh, getting ready to release the uh, first episode of Interfacing Linux. I'm stepping up on that because, mm. yeah, I had, to, uh, had this guy ask me a question that I couldn't answer, and that guy was Adam Curry. You know, the guy credited for creating podcasts. He's like, well, my Motu work with uh, the Linux. It's like, I don't have one yet, so I don't know. Damn it. Um, that <laughs> that would have been a big, big um, get. So, yeah, um, mm-hmm. I, I, I just pedaled to the metal on that. I was like, man, I'm spending a lot of money. And I was like, fuck it. Just, just, just do this. I'm going to make it a big <laughs> thing. But one thing that we can rely on each and every week no matter where it's at, live via satellite, or if it has driven itself insane on caffeine-free diet Pepsi is the hopes. (laughs) Yeah, I I gotta wonder, though, how many Firewire ports does the horse actually have if we're going to interface with it properly? It's the Steam Linux update. Remember to add jingle, jingle. Okay. Jingle, jingle. (laughs) Steam plant beat us, man. Uh, Dude. This made me very happy. Windows don't care. Steam input kind of care. Victor Pro. No, nope, don't care. Steam play, race condition, Proton enabled games. That's a big positive. Leave it That's a good one. Yes. Disabled <laughs> the stupid monkey key ring. Thank you. Woo-hoo! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and by default, it is disabled, which means you have to forcefully enable it. Nothing. I didn't think it was going to bother me at first, but boy, does that bother you. <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, no, yes, I, it does. I don't want to have to enter more passwords. I got to enter my regular password. I got to enter my two-factor, and before I can even get to that, I'm like, oh, what's your keyring password? The well, fuck if I know. Yeah, usually it defaults <laughs> to your login password, but come on, yeah. I wouldn't know that offhand without a couple attempts. One of the things with a gnome keyring is your fellow XFC user. It's utterly defeated by opening the browser, but like soon as you like log into the desktop, it's just like mm-hmm. right. Off. <laughs> doesn't even yeah because it's not like a 
couple of seconds cooldown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, the I like using um, Katie's K wallet for some specific things, and the only thing that it ever bugged me was when I open Chrome or Chromium or Vivaldi or in this case, Steam, since it uses the uh, Chromium embedded framework, mm -hmm. uh, you open it up and it's like, put in your password. It's like, no, I don't want to. I just want to <laughs> open Steam. We don't need to bring typing into this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to play games. Oh, oh, oh you sweet summer child. No, no, just, just make, make with the tippy taps. Nope. Make with Man, the if I had my Steam controller, it's like, this is why you fail. And just throw it away and go cry. Uh, we got a. Oh, dude. What? I, I, was, I was just going to say, uh, imagine like being able to log in. Hey, plug my Steam controller. That's also your authentication device. That's not going to be fun to carry around immediately. Yeah, <laughs> Prob probably not. Probably That's why it's a good it. security device. Yeah. As a secondary one, maybe, sure. This is true. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so a bit of a belated update because we're already uh, tracking Proton 5.0 up here in Wild West land. Uh, but Valve decided, you know what? Let's uh, let's give those people stuck on 4.11, for some reason, uh, a bit of an update. And uh, apparently there was... Uh, or there were a couple of issues with low color depth modes on certain hardware. What that is? Yeah, very good question. It, listen, listen. Uh, if if you use if you use certain hardware, rejoice, right? Yeah. Like your, your, your color mode problems <laughs> are gone. I hate you know I hate seeing change logs like this because you know there's some other stuff buried in there too, but it got squashed in the I merge think one somewhere. Of those like, I'm genuinely curious about is a who has that color perception because you could probably shave off. 10, 12,000 shades and be like, ah, it looks a little off. I don't, I would never even notice it, but it's probably like the eight bit or uh, 16 bit color depth games that are having issues. I don't know. I mean, unless it like looked like a kaleidoscope of rabid weasels, I wouldn't be like, ah, something's <laughs> off. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I, I don't know. I, I really do wonder what the use case for updating the older version of Proton is when I mean, I mean, so, no sometimes, sometimes games there's games using this version. That, I mean, so, sometimes there are games that just don't work well with like a new version of Wine. I don't know. Things happen. You might want to roll back to an older version of Proton if you know it works for sure. Yeah, this is true. And, and maybe you run maybe you run certain hardware with like low color palette depths or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't either. It's good that they're fixing the little <laughs> things, though. Middle, yes, that's, that's important. Detail. Dot all the lowercase yes. j's. Hey, good <laughs> news, everyone. Wait. Whoa, no, these are not the good news. These are the news that, uh, well, we knew. I got a uh, feeling you're going to tell me the good news isn't in another castle either. Nope, good news, everyone. And, I'm a uh, horse's butt. The bit uh, of the Rocket League update that uh, interests sort of uh the linux community is that um by june 10 2020 uh you need to submit your refund request so if you have bought rocket league to play on linux please do ask for a refund uh the march update is going to be the last one that supports um linux and mac uh so if you haven't asked for a refund yet you should but if you're June, waiting June until the very last day, yeah, uh, if you're waiting for the very last day, it's June 10th. June 10th, it's <laughs> definitely going to come, but you know, hey man, maybe you don't want to send it the refund. The reason I'm going to recommend sending in that refund is because you're not going to be able to do it once Rocket League goes free to play and they like pull out and like put a big dose of uh, easy anti-cheat on top of it, making your Proton version mm -hmm. not work at all. <laughs> Indeed. Unless yeah, you're no a schlub like me and got it from a, from a gift. So, so, or from Humble. Or from item. any of the other places. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, so long and yep, thanks yep. for all the fish. Uh, yeah. I still get the sense oh, about man. that, man. I mean, this I, this epic guys. I give benefit of the doubt. No knee jerk hate. Hey, man, maybe. They, oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. They're real. Got it. Understood. Yep. Clear. Yep. <laughs> so we've been complaining. Yeah, you know, yeah. A little bit uh, about, you know, our um, horses are dying off the permanent early access <laughs> games that are coming out. We're about to talk about, not this one, but uh, even Black Mesa is uh, rolling out. Uh, but, mm -hmm. but 
But there is one. <laughs> there is one. It's it's seven days to die. It's in alpha forever and ever and ever. You know, I will I will say though that seven days to die has some of my favorite patch notes because they're they're ridiculous. Yeah. Like intimidation with a forty four magnum no longer works on vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try that in real life. I want give, give me all your freaking stickers bars, man. Talk about um, making me want to play it, man. It's like, can you roll that back yeah. and then take a look? No, you, you, you can't anymore, man. man. You've, you've lost so many people. Uh, there's also a, a cra- there was also a crash involving an electric fence. So now, if you pee on it in game, it will no longer crash your game. <laughs> there's a lot of other there's a lot of other fixes because it's still an alpha. It's one of these day Z. Um, like games where you run around and avoid zombies and try to murder your friends and make alliances with your friends so that you can betray them later and murder them, leave them to die yes. for zombies. It was um, basically yeah. Rust before Rust. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fewer dicks, indeed. But yeah, if you want to look through the change log, uh, the link's in the show notes. Again, most of the stuff doesn't matter to you unless you are an active seven days to die player, but it's nice to see that they're chugging along with development <laughs> and are, giving but... us one additional whipping boy for perpetual and i think we're still in good company because they've definitely been an alpha for seven years six yeah <laughs> so, so, so so it's more like seven years to die is what you're saying no <laughs> i'm genuinely curious because you might remember it might have been last year or it could have been the year before that they uh tapped that vulcan button with the unity but mm-hmm. it was just uh pink Yes, <laughs> that was the last time I tried it too. <laughs> I, I mean, that's a, that sounds like something Jill would love. So, oh, no, man, I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to pop in, take a look with that. Be like, hey, man, because I, I I'm not into that, but I definitely what little I played of. I was like, I need to be careful with this game because. Yeah, I'm just sad I can't hold up vending machines with a gun anymore. Um, <laughs> you can really intimidatingly. You just gotta get a bigger now, gun. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, so Zen is here, baby. Black Mesa 1.0. It's oh. out. You can play it, and it's still 19.99. So it, that didn't change. It was like good on you, lot. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Gang of patch notes, and I've been playing through it. If you want to follow my road to Zen, that's uh, I do that when I get a chance on Fridays, and I've done like three levels of it, and I've never played through Half Life. But it, you know, the last last update earlier this week before they dropped it out was mostly focused on NPC updates. They're like, "Hey, man, we're gonna make him a little more dickish, a little more clever, and uh, you're gonna nope. die some more." Which I can say as somebody you save. Like, Dude, fuck the NPCs in this game. They are good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that I actually saw people complaining about in the Steam forums is um, if you're going through the office complex, the game would autosave in some pretty BS situations for most everyone, mm-hmm. but they fixed that, so that that's good. <laughs> uh, speaking, speaking of saving, apparently there was a limit to how many manual saves you could make, so they fixed that before the one that I released. So save away to your heart's content nice. and cheese your way through some of those brutal fights. I will say this, though. You can play it with a bit more confidence because if you've been playing it for any amount of time recently, like in the beta branch or anything like that, like every other update would break all of your saves. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> now, 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 supposedly it's stable, right? So, so look forward to that, man. Uh, we'll definitely be taking a look at that sometime this month. Uh, do we still like the Amnesia games? I don't remember. Something I like about, um, hmm. a Dark Descent. Yes, Dark Descent. Uh, well, dark I, Descent I mean, I mean, was very good. Machine Machine for Pigs was just like hilariously broken, you know. But that that was that was the Chinese. That room, was the Chinese, the, the Chinese yeah. room. It, it was a very good game until you got to the hilariously broken parts, and you're like, okay, this has turned into <laughs> unintentional comedy. But let's talk about this. They've uh, got a little trailer out, and this is a new descent into darkness from the creators of the Iconic. Uh, it's basically the game that showed that you can build an environment to fuck around with everything. And many games have tried. If I see that hand icon, I better be able to mess with everything. This, this looks a bit of all right. Decided like a ham, but I'm not seeing a lot of water. 
So, um, yes. You know? And if they can put the, uh, like the improvements to the engine that they did with Soma mm -hmm. and actually bring okay. amnesia to that kind of graphical fidelity and have the horror elements to it, I think this could be a very, very interesting horror game. I really want to put well, a we, finer we, we, point on Soma, <laughs> the, the graphical elements of Soma, not just not that first room part because I look like dog shit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> also, also the Toronto subway that looked nothing like a Toronto subway. I mean, we we got we have a peek at the system requirements now. It's, apparently, the new stuff is built on OpenGL for what four point oh. So mm -hmm. hmm. that doesn't necessarily That's mean that it's going to be better graphics, so, but yep. it's going to be slightly more performant graphics. It's That's also a part. chunky boy coming in at fifty gigs. Indeed. So maybe that's heavy it's for gonna be a long one. Yeah. He's <laughs> out of I mean, for their engine, that's going to be a big ass game. Oh no! Well, no, that, no. Well, we, we, the... we have this uh, 8K 15 minute video that we want to show you at the beginning. Awesome. <laughs> See, but that, that's the thing with frictional games. You can get away with like lower graphical fidelity because everything is just so dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can't see <laughs> it is interesting i'm looking forward to it because uh the the that development team has done something that's very difficult to do to be in a game it is to push my note button down and tape it where it's <laughs> like ah and oh, yeah. I, I i like doing that to myself every now because you genuinely just like oh okay we just, we just gotta step away no no uh, there are there were points in uh amnesia dark descent that i had to force myself to keep playing because it's like no mm -hmm. i don't wanna no <laughs> see see now, then, then you gotta do it in vr and you wear yourself you... yeah you're too yes. scared you can't even finish that sentence <laughs> pedro what's coming up next up next, we have, uh, well, we have um, a game that we were going to throw um, chairs at uh -oh. this week, but uh, since we have a special scale event, it's totally not the reason that Jordan's frozen right now. Right. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's a bloody rally show, and the developer set his keys for that, so thank you very much. Um, Tomas has his name, and he said in his email that uh, despite this being a Unity game, it was treated as... Um, a, it, they treated Linux, Linux as a um, first-class citizen, and they gave it proper support from day one. Okay. That's amazing! That's really, 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 really nice. Um, and, you know, if uh, the way that the uh, dual shock, You know, we need to send uh, them a note about the psychology of 1999 versus 20. <laughs> yes <laughs> but the like you even in the middle of the game say you started the game and you forgot to turn on the controller a lot of unity games if you turn it on they'll just flip out and they won't let you use the controller at all this one does and just about everything unless the game is actively randomly generating uh, some tracks because all of the tracks are randomly generated and all of the there's like certain specific objectives you need to do but the way that they're configured and how you um how many times you encounter them during a certain campaign everything about that is uh, randomly generated so when it's doing the random generation you'll see some performance hiccups but outside of that, it's uh, very, very, very performant. Mm. It's like 144 hertz all throughout the races. <laughs> right on. Does look interesting. Yep. Uh, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to bounce out of here. Um, coming up next, we got a little bit of news. Actually, we got a lot more news than we had uh, steamy stuff. <laughs> yes, we and do. And <laughs> stick around. We're going to try to get our... Uh, satellite uplink reconnected properly and uh, we're going to talk to some people from scale the scale convention oh yeah and we're back but before we get into all of them news because we actually have a few all of them news mostly like both of yes <laughs> what are you going to do with all that news all that news inside that you know what never mind all of it baby inside you know the cashews uh, but whatever the case may be uh before we get to them we do need to thank you because you uh help make this show possible so you're awesome i think it's, that it's, or you're it, it, really really sadistic Sadistic, <laughs> financially irresponsible. <laughs> there, there are a number of ways to describe the supporters of Blank's Gamecast. Uh, if you want to join, I their love ranks, you can head on over. Baby, that's awesome. It's like yeah, Lens Flair. JJ, oh. JJ. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, if, 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 if you if you want to join the the collective of uh, Linux Gamecast supporters, you can head on over to linuxgamecast.com. You can move your mouse over that support button. We got many many links for you to click on. I like on the word collective. It doesn't sound like cult. Big fan of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. It's not a cult. No. 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 It, no. But I mean, I, I mean, I mean, if you if you want us to clear the body thetans out of you, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Linux. Can Gamecast we make Scientology our bitch? Yes, that's my goal. That's We're my going goal. To make more make money. Another Scientology. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, uh, become become a Patreon. It's pretty awesome. You get access to the Discord channel. You get access to the pre pre super shows. And we got a, we got a brand new Patreon. We got to thank we got to thank Haplo for giving us. Twenty five bucks a week. That's, yeah, woo! it's the first one that's in insane. Discord to claim the insane. advisor tag. <laughs> yep. Haplo, Haplo oh was pretty God. fucking metal about it. He's like, you know what? I'm pissed off. I can't make it to scale. You know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Wow. Seriously. Well, thank you, Haplo. <laughs> super, 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 super generous, Haplo. He's 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 a great guy. Uh, we also got a store, store.linuxteamcast.com. I wore my Use Me shirt yesterday. Yeah, you did. Does it fit? Chill for the Lutris. I uh, it fits all right. Um, yeah, uh, we get we get we got shirts with our faces on it, shirts with creepy penguins on it, hell elk stickers, hell elk smugs, uh, all sorts of apparel to cover the shame that is your body. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we 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 also got wish zones. Yep. Uh, you help build the studio, get your name on that big flashy wall behind Ven. It doesn't flash. What are you talking about? See, no flash. <laughs> no flash. <laughs> No, it, it it just has the lens. This flare. wall is tired of the Barry Allen accusations. <laughs> yeah. What about it's the Barry White ac- Adobe accusations? Wave. <laughs> there will always be Barry White accusations, and I will continue to deny them. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. All right. We we <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think we got the chilling out of the way. Let's uh let's talk about the LGP site going away forever. No, or it stayed it? around for Oh no, it, it's staying around. Oh, it right. has reasons. been archived, man. The LGP website archive. That's what it says. Uh, has been published. We thank you for your, this. Is it that you, you can click on it all you want and uh, doesn't do anything? But hey, man, the website's still around. Which I guess, if you were worried about archive.org going down, that would be an issue. But I don't know. Uh, they what, could run out of money eventually. They could. <laughs> I think we would definitely have bigger issues. But hey, man, I. That's a good thing. I think about LGP. I, I immediately think about paying sixty pounds for that copy of Ballistics. To which it's like, okay, uh, good times. But hey, we didn't have a lot of options back in the day, and you wanted to support those who support Linux, and that was something I was all for. I was looking at some of the archive prices. I'm guessing they had a going out of business sale because a lot of the titles are like twenty pounds. Hmm. I don't know because um, sacred gold in, in the archival is the exact same amount of money I paid for it back in the day as twenty seven pounds or like thirty three euros. What so, back yeah. in the day to you though? Uh, back in the day to me it was like twenty twelve. No, twenty thirteen. Like two. Yeah. <laughs> no, it took like two thousand eight. <laughs> That's when I bought it on Linux. All right. <laughs> Jordan, did you ever buy anything from LGP? No, I think I was a little too late to the game for that. Mm. Oh, yeah, I bought it on Desura. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> then they did yeah, a couple of things, man. Uh, memorable titles like Candy Cruncher and uh, Ningpo Meijong. And Gotta love Gorky that Meijong. 17. And X3. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yes. X3, the X3, um, Ma- Majesty Gold, uh, Judson Guns. Shadow Grounds, the Shadow Grounds series. Um, the first two were ported by them. They did the uh, mm-hmm. Postal 2 and Disciples 2. Never happened. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> but I had Disciples 2 for Windows. <laughs> you can, man, talk about a collector's item, though, if you got some of those box copies. Yeah. yeah, that's like extra Indeed. hard mode. I mean, Loki, you can get Loki titles all day on eBay. You don't really ever see any LGP or anything like that show up. Hell, you can even get them running under Lutris. I'm sorry, I've been sitting at the Lutris, Lutris booth for two days <laughs> shilling for it. So, Do you just like scream at people when they come like, hey, come here. Yes, Lotris. Lotris. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. In, in my in my use me penguin shirt, it's it's a beautiful sight. Did you show them uh, that you can get uh, Need for Speed World up and running under Linux? 
Uh, no, I it's actually, a story. Yes, I actually uh, suggested that uh, in uh, using the official Lutris um, game requisition form thingy. But yeah, no, this is uh, the uh, Soapbox Race World uh, game launcher for Need for Speed World, which is a fan revival project to bring back Need for Speed World from the dead. And yeah, EA killed the game back in 2015, and the developers... Um, I didn't actually think that this had was ever going to run in Linux because it's I mean it's not Ned so it might have but when I went to their git um I saw a thing in the template for a new issue that said wine versions like oh all right we're uh we're filing this particular report <laughs> uh and I said it's like oh so I can get the game running if I use uh, .net 46 and I remove mono and this the developers were like mm well, we can actually fix that. And to his credit, the developer actually fixed the um, launcher and it works with just default Wine 5.0 and Mono. The game itself still has issues. And the way that the developer is trying to fix them is not ideal. You can check the uh, the, his uh, the issues tracker if you want to have a look, see what why he's Why don't you uh, just be grateful, hippie? It's like, I'm grateful, I am, I genuinely am. I didn't even think anything of it until I saw the mentions of wine in the uh, issue template. But yeah, it's don't, don't compile your own version of wine and attempt to distribute that with the launcher. Just submit the patches up. Would it be easier right, if you just installed Windows? <laughs> <laughs> Easier, I mean, if you yes. want to deal Better, with Windows, no. go ahead. <laughs> I didn't say long term. <laughs> I could probably, uh, considering the game isn't really all that demanding because the game came out in like 2010, 2011-ish. Um, yeah, you could probably run it off of the virtual GPU that a VM will give you. Well, all so, that aside, yeah. I'm going to say good on you for poking the dev in, you know, regard, as long as it ends up working at some point, and it will, and it's always good to see, you know, the community bringing back online games that uh, developers yeah. are like, hey, is everyone enjoying this? Good. Fuck you. Um, yeah, no, yeah, EA that, has been that prolific EA at that. indiscriminately <laughs> murders. Sure. Yeah, it's good yeah. times. Very good times. Uh, Indeed. But a good way Flotilla. to keep games around. Yeah. Open source them. Yeah. Indeed. Yes. Uh, so this guy, um, Blendo Games, um, put it out a game in 2010 called Flotilla. It was the uh, first C Sharp project he did. He used XNA. Um, and he decided on his 10 year anniversary, he's going to open up the source. Um, so yeah, this was like the first time he had developed a game uh that was not like a mod it was a standalone game and so as such he admits there's a ton of jank but you know then you raise a very good point about releasing old code samples there's mm. always something to learn even from the bad stuff that this is like something i fear a lot of stuff never and i'm not even joking when i say this um it's released simply due to shame like, i don't want people seeing that they're going to judge me even though, you know, like, hey, man, this is me learning and somebody can still take away something from it, but they don't want what is effectively the Internet to show up with their opinions. Yeah, I, yes. I, I, that, that's, that, that's a lot of thing with like people publishing, not publishing like unfinished writing or art. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's good to get that out there. At the very least, you can get some feedback. You don't even have to listen to it. Um, but the cool thing about this one is because it is built on XNA, getting this running under FNA is probably relatively trivial. So mm -hmm. uh, you can you can do that. You can check out their GitHub and try to build it. It's there, yeah. man. I mean, you still need the yeah. assets, but go for it. Have fun with it. And yeah. I don't know if I... Ethan helped out with the port, I think. Oh, yeah. right on. Yeah, no, yeah. this is, uh, the the developer says in the post, it's like he went through the uh, official Microsoft XNA tutorial, mm -hmm. uh, but then he's like, Can you imagine like, going oh, through that and actually getting thing? a game at the end? You're like, what? Yeah. Oh, you'll get a game, actually, but it'll be like, move square to block two, yeah. move square to block three. Optimism. Yeah, and he, um, he used FNA to then bring it out and... It, it expects FNA, and it, you are supposed to drop the FNA um, 
pre-compiled binaries into the folder to make it run. And he he's very upfront in saying this project was my C sharp coding education. So <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, also, one thing I noticed, the website doesn't have an SSL certificate. Good. And we mentioned on Wednesday. It's like there's no excuse for that anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. Just, just let, let him slide. Uh, I'll, no I'll, may, 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 maybe, maybe I'll let it float. How well, about that, that? Hang on. <laughs> I, I will say that was something. That's a valid point. That was something you do need to keep in mind. Uh, it, it's getting more and more difficult to get to your web zone if you do not have an SSL. I mean, the yeah. browsers will actively <laughs> stop you, and the average person hits that, and Chrome or Firefox goes booga booga. Most people are like, nope, not going there. Yeah, so setting up a Let's Encrypt cert is actually pretty easy, especially if you only have one machine. So I never played it Ultima is. 5, so I have no nostalgia feels, but Linux builds. Yeah, so uh, there's sort of. uh, this Ultima 5 Redux project that uh, is being attempted, which is to sort of revive uh, Ultima 5, and, um, well, Neuromancer uh, created a... Um, bit of an issue on their githubs like yo can we get a linux build of that and uh so, well there is one he produced it at one point because this is done in unity right so yep. <laughs> um so uh he said yes i got i got it it launches technically he hasn't really messed around with it too much uh and he was having some problems because he what he wanted to do is use uh github's build service mm. um and he couldn't figure out how to get uh, that working with uh, the Unity Linux build. So if someone can show him that, then we can get sort of repeatable builds. And we can start getting Linux snapshots for this. Uh, but yeah, the guy's doing an open Daggerfall. Uh, but, you know, instead of uh, Daggerfall, it's Ultima 5, which is a, a fairly well-respected RPG um, yep. from the Ultima series back in the day. Um, so it, it's it's cool. This is, again, why you should be using cross-platform tools for your game development. The guy's like, nope. hey, do you have Linux port? Well, I press this button and it produced the tarball. Give it a shot. Yeah. And There's it's some still a textures, really good way but... to, uh, speaking of ways to like learn, is uh, going back and doing re-implementations. But it's perfectly valid. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And uh, something tells me that this is going to run miles better than um, Shroud of the Avatar. Dosbox. Um, yeah. <laughs> there is that uh, that that, that, uh, that other Ultima related Unity yeah. mess thing. <laughs> yes, so, so, created sorry, by Richard, Richard. Garriott. Go figure. <laughs> Gloom. <laughs> Gloom. Yeah. So I, I I saw that and I thought, what, like the board game by Keith Baker? No, it's an old Amiga port, or it's not even a port. It is a clone it's a of clone. Doom for the it's a straight up implementation. <laughs> <laughs> implementation em implementation of the first person shooter thing uh, but anyways yeah Glo gloom has a version or rather back in 2017 uh the company that held the ip released the source code and the assets to the public domain so um someone has taken that and turned that you know how there's Z doom now there's Z gloom um now with power-ups and mouse look all sorts of cool stuff that you can just use to run this old doom clone on a modern system it's good for game preservation, especially now that uh, now that everything is public domain. So, yeah, I think the really yeah. only, the only thing I'm waiting for is player rotation acceleration. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but man, it sounds sexy. I want to try it. That's when it's that's when you put your game players on the teacup rides at Disneyland and you go make baby a go. Yes, and it goes progressively faster. Yeah, I'm down with that, man. I, I'm I looked at this and was like, oh, am I going to have to go dig around the internet to try to find Amiga ass in some... No. Like a... No, 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 no. They straight up released them and uh, the... Um, is this one that has the uh, Zlib licensing thing going on? Mm. I would have to check the code, which I'm doing now. right now. It's well, using research. Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, no. No? Yep, no. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, no, right. the license in this one is, don't know. The Gloom source release was only on the .s and .bb2 files are open source, but the Gloom executable bakes in some math lookup tables. But then uh, they are generated by the bb2 files. Okay. 
You know what? Yeah. Download it, live a little. <laughs> Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> Watch out, it's the police coming to your door for Splat. pirating software. Splat. More like does not build. Okay, so pure ski jumping. This is a Android-based or it's an Android game for ski jumping. Um, kind. I, I thought it might have been similar, similar to Ski Free, but it's more like Excite Bike with skis. Um, the build instructions are open it, clone the project, open it in Android Studio, and then run the jar from the build folder. So I install Android Studio. Okay. I clone the Git. All right. I check out both the master branch and the one tag version they have on the public repo. I put it into Android Studio. And then I got Java errors. And that's the end of that, because I'm not fixing Java errors. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I was a little I was a little excited too, because like he's like, yeah, no, the it's an Android game, but you can run it with desktop Java. It should be fine. Supposedly you can just launch the uh desktop launcher.java. And see um, see the, the, the problem with that, Pedro, is you need to compile the jar first. Which it is unable uh, to do. Step one. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of sad. NetBeans. <laughs> Just load up NetBeans. That's about as much job it, as I know. In, 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 <laughs> in IntelliJ. That's that's what Android Studio is based off of now. I I remember back when it was based on Eclipse and like, why are my keyboard shortcuts working? Oh, oh. There you go. All right. Do it. <laughs> well, hey man, good try. Uh, yeah, I got as far as like Android. No, don't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like, oh, Java, no. I'll it needs, it needs multiplayer and a gambling mechanic. Then we can get Ep Epic to give you some money. Yeah, but the only Java thing I still have is um, Minecraft. I bought a copy of Minecraft. And I've never played Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I bought it back in, the, back in the day when it was still in beta. What's his name was doing it? Um... Notch. Notch. It's like, here, have yes. money. You're doing Linux inadvertently because I'm sure yes. you were like, what? Oh, it runs on Linux? <laughs> I'm sure you yeah. didn't test for that. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, of, cor of course they want the dedicated server to run on Linux. What are you going to do? Run that on a Windows machine? Hey, Mike, don't worry. Microsoft can now scan for viruses. Go watch our Wednesday show. Um, I know. Win, 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 Windows Defender on uh, Linux. I feel, I feel so ATP, safe. ATP, but yeah. yeah. All right. I feel so, so safe. Coming up next, we're going to talk to some people about scale and their people. experiences. Saw. Yeah. People I get to disappear morning, for a little people while. People in the evening, Ooh. people at supper time, when people are on a bagel. I don't know where I'm going with that. You can eat people anytime. Mm, yep. People. Beautiful people. Um, normally we have the chairquisition kicking in right now, trying to melt your face off with chairs and video games and how they run on Linux. But once a year, once a year, it's like Christmas, but in California, with people who are decidedly not Saint Nick. Nay, they, they terrify that poor man. But we have a gang of people that showed up and they went to the scale thing. It's not what you think. They don't have a scale convention. You don't step on things and it weighs you. This is not the case. We we talked about that, Pedro, right? <laughs> we uh, made several puns relating to scales Scale related and puns. how they shrink mm. or they get blown up, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But we're going to talk to everyone who showed up and made the trip out and kind of get their hot, mild, or spicy, or what? What's is there anything lower than mild? Is that just straight up tomatoes, you know, like tomato sauce? Yeah, no, it's just ketchup, yeah. <laughs> Spicy ketchup action. All right, Jordan, who do we have at first? Uh, so that she stops leaning on my leg, we're going to make Linda go first. All right. <laughs> because I need to stand up. Linda, have, say hello to the people. Have fun, sleepy <laughs> leg man. <laughs> hello, beautiful people. What's hello. going on? You and she made it all the way out from... Coos Bay, Oregon. Coos Bay, Oregon. That was. It was. It was almost a twenty-hour drive. That's a because I because I had to stop at every rest stop. Oh, <laughs> I, that I, is a significant. I just love to take drive. pictures that much. <laughs> yes, it was a significant <laughs> drive. It was. It was quite long. So what was scale but, about? But what the, what but did you the, run into? But the end was. Oh well, scale for me was a lot of questions. I am. <laughs> I am not well versed in anything, so basically it was it was me walking up to every single table and going, "So, 
what does your product do? <laughs> oh, you made so many people so happy. <laughs> I don't know. I, something that I've... makes me think about like um, Matthew. Matthew's like, oh, is that the person that's going to be what it does? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Strider is the exception there. Yeah. I, just, I don't know, man. I, I can see Strider straight up hissing at somebody. Oh. <laughs> I think I was, I was hoping for, I was hoping for a little more gaming and maybe something a little more about podcasting, but I got so much information for my sci-fi book. It is, it's, it's fantastic. I was really pleased I showed up for this. And you can basically just like roll in with it, just a very literal explanation of your experience at scale and be like, yeah, somebody just made that shit up. You got a great imagination. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> I also got enough stickers to make a suit. <laughs> I thought you said soup and I was curious. <laughs> Uh, if you like soup made out sticker of stickers, soup. it's sticker soup. Mm. Hey, man, live a little. I mean, don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of brilliant. So you had a good time? Do you think you'll be coming back? Uh, if I have enough money, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it is expensive to drive all the way down and, and you know, and afford food. Spend and... a couple of days in California. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spend days in a couple of California because uh, I think one of the biggest realizations was coming down here and going... Well, that's right. You have to pay tax down here. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> Something absurd. I, can, I hear they have expensive I felt, I felt a, I, I, I felt. I felt a little dirty knowing I had to pay sales tax. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how real Americans do it. <laughs> no, no Americans do it. Oh, Pedro can't hear you over the sound of the vat. Yeah, no, twenty percent VAT on everything. Yeah, <laughs> good time. Well, you know the um, the one the one person I definitely I definitely have to thank is my husband because he has been an absolute brick. Che has gone with me everywhere, uh, no matter where I wanted to go, and he sat down with me every time I wanted to have a beer or coffee or you know ask somebody really silly questions, and he <laughs> he's been he's been wonderful. Never, never questioned it ever. <laughs> so I hope he had as much fun as I did. You'll find out next year. He's like, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Oh my God, not again. <laughs> That's kind of Was this brilliant. your first scale uh, outing? <laughs> this was my first scale outing. Actually, it's my second Linux outing, I think, ever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's wonderful to be around, uh, you know, Linuxy people. It's, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, I enjoyed it. It it gets old after a while. Don't worry about it. Um, and Salty just gifted you some resubs. How about there you that? Go. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Salty. All right, who do we got up next? Up next, uh, I guess uh, it's the Atomic Ass himself. <laughs> you did you drive? Hello. Yes, I fucking drove. Damn. <laughs> and that Prius. Yes. What's it smell like? That's what I thought. Man. Really lost sadness. It hasn't really lost its new car smell. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, it is a Prius. It's got to have something go other than mileage. It's got 199,000 miles on it. Yeah. Did you tow anything? Yeah. One of those old uh, teardrop campers. Oh, wait. Well, that was probably halfway decent on the mileage. Yeah. Uh, I think the average is just around 30. Around 30? That's not too bad. So, man, what was it like going to scale with these weirdos? It was horrendous. Oh, yeah. Tell Dish Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> tell us how you really feel. <laughs> well, what's weirder is the people you meet at the conference. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, do tell. I, I'm Go just on. Gonna, uh, <laughs> pretend, pretend you're on a live show and elaborate. <laughs> they, they, they actually take things seriously over there. Like what? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, you can't just walk in. Hey, assholes, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I know. And then Bobby realized he wasn't on the internet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you see? What was? What did you do, man? Uh, attended a couple of talks. Like what? Uh, went around, collected some NASCAR. What talks? Uh, let's see. One on uh, DNS. 
uh, another one on uh, uh, BPF. BPF? Uh, uh, Berkeley Packet Filter. Oh, okay. They're, yeah, um, I don't know how they're using it in Linux, but they're using it as like a D-trace. And that's something I'm, I'm going to try to figure out. For fun? But, uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> we shall see. Go for it, Pedro. Do you have any questions? I'm not um, gonna, I'm, I'm, I, I've ran out of my cell phone. I'm empty. <laughs> Your turn. See if you can get him to talk. <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? I don't it? know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so... Out of like everyone um, that you met first time around, uh, what were your impressions of the people there at the um, LGC um, Airbnb thing? Jordan is fucking massive. That's <laughs> yes, that's we've the... established that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about his heart, perverts. <laughs> <laughs> was that your first time meeting strider or second you've been there before mm, they let second. You back. yeah yeah because uh, yeah when when i was at redondo beach i met him there right on oh yeah that was a couple of months yeah. ago I, I remember seeing pictures of that <laughs> yeah did anybody else at the conference have t-shirts tucked into their pants practically everyone Okay, I, I saw a different California set of pictures. Is weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you're okay, roasting over. Uh, I I have one last no, question. No, it's uh, too late. The, the, <laughs> the internet, the internet's not ready for your knowledge. Go ahead. Oh, look, he froze. I legitimately have nothing to do with that. Nothing. Not a thing. Hello. Hello. Uh oh. Hands up, hey, baby. Died. No, no, the Jitsi just uh, had a bit of a fit there. No, I okay. just have to prove because that is exactly some type of dick move I would have done to cut you off. <laughs> no, it was Jitsi just <laughs> froze again. It's like, okay, are you going to unfreeze? And then it did. So, and yeah. to be honest with you, Internet, I feel deprived. I was unable to do that. <laughs> I was in the middle of reaching for his mute button. <laughs> Well, okay, hello, Ben and Pedro. Yay! Hello. <laughs> so I got some pretty see, see, good interviews. We, we, we can't see directly up your nose, so lean in a little harder. <laughs> yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. And um, yeah, so I Who did. did um, I got well. I got two interviews with Baturgia. Two? Which I hadn't heard of before, so that's going to be a fun Two one. Two interviews. Did the first one not take? Did they kick you out? I, well, I, actually, I, I ended up doing three interviews with them because the first one, we um, there was uh, too much overmodulation on the mic. So then we did a second take, which was even better. And then I interviewed a second person at the booth um, on a different subject, which you will find out. And but the big deal was today I um, interviewed the Linux Foundation. And, Are they still uh, making right. foundations? Or... Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's quite an honor because they don't just let anyone interview them. So I will tell you more about that later. You don't have to tell me. I'm the one editing the videos, man. Come on. <laughs> just like, oh, I'll tell you. I was like, I'll find out. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Well, it it. It it wasn't set, stated in the interview itself. This was after the interview. Something then it's kind of pointless, isn't it? If it's not in the interview. No, no, it was a great interview. See, it's fun. Jill's like, I gotta, <laughs> there's got to be some secret. It's yeah. It, it it's got to. I we know. Yeah, we know. It, we know. I, I want to save it. I want to save it. Back. So what <laughs> else went exciting. on? Okay, okay. So we did beautifully at the Linux Chicks LA booth. Um, How did we your wheel go? Tons of swag. Uh, wheel went beautifully because Steve Husband, you know, modified it and put the right bearings on it. So did, it looks did it beautiful. Spin? <laughs> it spins beautiful. In fact, it spins so well, it takes a long time for it to stop <sighs> if you push it hard. <laughs> See, there you got to have fun with it, man. You needed to have like yeah. it just glued to it, like give it a spin and they just slap it. 
<laughs> Look at you confused. There. <laughs> they just run off. <laughs> yeah. And I actually, this time, we kind of, I kind of spaced it out. I didn't, I'm, I'm still doing quite a few interviews, but not quite as many as last year. And part of that is because we've got about half the attendance. So, and then some of the people that I wanted to interview didn't come last minute. But I have other people I'm going to interview. We still, we have about 3,500 this this time. Um, this scale uh, last year was oh. Was See, I don't I don't know if I can do it. Th- over I five thousand, m- like thirty two hundred interviews minimum. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, there's um. And so I have a lot of new people I can interview, um, uh, which I'm gonna I'm gonna I I have this really neat open source router project that I'm gonna interview tomorrow. So um, that's really cool, but it's just despite you know, what's going on in the world with the virus and all that junk, you know, uh, we still are having a great scale. All the core diehards are there. So, and, and it's, it's, it's almost like it's scale from seven years ago okay. you know, in, in size. All right. So it, <laughs> it really has a really nice community feel because there are fewer people and it's just kind of us diehards and uh, getting together. And one of the interesting things that happen is because of, <laughs> said virus um (laughs) um, a lot of the booths the people that were going to be manning certain company booths that we normally see uh, couldn't come out because the companies wouldn't let them fly out Mm -hmm. so they got they got local people from the community to fill in for them so we have as a result of that there's a lot of new people at scale that's awesome did you guys have uh time to play spot patient zero (laughs) 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 we'll find the person who is licking the uh (laughs) oh no maybe some jackal walking around (laughs) sipping on a corona light (laughs) yeah so but they have done such a marvelous job they keep updating on their front page about what they're you know er encouraging everyone to do fist bumps and not shake hands and just you know taking precautions but you got to give everyone at scale credit with the project because, you know, everybody's <laughs> canceling everything. Even South exactly. by South Wicked get canceled, man. Yeah. Yes, so. I, we, we heard that. <laughs> we heard that. And that's what amazing is the scale community is like, you know what? It's not an issue right now in SoCal. We're just going to go with it. And we encourage, you know, we recommend the people that are sick, please do not come. So I actually had some friends that had colds and flus that did not come because of that and and i'm uh, people were That's good, man. The, self-preservation the is a strong motivator yeah, yeah. And you know what <laughs> apply this method uh, this particular method of thinking to all conventions going forward nope. yes how's that yes <laughs> Confunct. exactly and that's what yeah. you know <laughs> that's what the Linux community is about. We're progressive and we, we don't, you know, basic go into hygiene. the hype Linux. and, and basic, hy- <laughs> yes, I have basic hygiene, but just common sense. I mean, I'm always washing my hands at conventions because I'm OCD and I just do that anyways. And my, and, hus- and husband said, oh, honey, if everyone was like you, no one would be sick at conventions because <laughs> Yeah, always washing my hands. They would. They'd be but definitely always... ill because they never exercise their immune system. They they have T cells that are confused. Not yeah, to... they'd go outside, take a deep breath. It's like, oh, I have but, a cold now. Like, oh, they're gone. Lost another one. Bubble people. <laughs> True that. And right. everyone was everyone was noticing that my hands are so my top layer of skin Chap, is not we, we there. We were making like... f- not not you just. Yeah, the uh, chapped hand people <laughs> earlier in the pre pre super yes. season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all have chapped hands from all that the there alcohol. We go. There we go. <laughs> oh, safety wizard. So, right <laughs> so, guess what? Alan won. <laughs> I don't know. Tell us. <laughs> the, the, hey, the listen, video audio land. podcast listeners, which are most of you, I'm trying to help you out. Yes. Okay. So I'm wearing. Wearing a hat of the Video LAN logo, which is You're a safety, a safety cone wizard for the yeah. stream. <laughs> this, so this I am the official safety I want, wizard. I, I can't, I cannot endorse this inaccuracy. You're wearing a hat <laughs> on a hat. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, so, so Ellen was so proud to keep 
Jill, guess what I won? I won the safety wizard hat. And I go, okay, don't tell anyone. We didn't even tell Jordan. I said, we'll save it for the show. <laughs> so... <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like, oh, oh, guess what I stole? <laughs> yes. Okay. So now the group has finally showed up. Those that went to dinner, I decided to come here early. So um, they're back from dinner and each person is ready. We've got Kai Linux up next. For, and his first oh, scale. Oh, he's still and, there. Okay. <laughs> yes, he See, is. I have the seek. I have Go for it. Okay. Love you guys. Yep, Talk bye to bye. you soon. <laughs> Dude, you, you gotta admit, like, like when we look at it in the background, Jordan looks like Gandalf on a five thousand calorie a day diet. <laughs> Gandalf, the safety wizard. Gandalf, the safety wizard. Man. Hey guys. Hey man, you Hello. made it all the way out there. Where did you guys come from? San Fran. Out. San Fran. Yeah. Oof, that's yeah. a bit of a drive. Yeah, a little bit. It was about, yeah. about six hours and some change. I'm just sitting back and a, hoping nobody's got lice. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's going through my head, right? Oh, yeah, you just put that fear in my mind now. No, nah. I'm, just, I'm sure everyone's fine. Yeah, no, that, that hat's already been on three heads now, so. Oh, okay. I'm well, then I'm doing that. Already. Uh, <laughs> Corona, lice. And, right, you know, right. Take it, take oh, it, yes. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the COVID lice. Well, let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> so having right. to deal with those whack jobs aside, man, what was scale about? I know the attendance was cut down a bit. Yeah, so it seemed uh, rather low key when I got there as far as the uh, number of folks. Because I saw a video that Jill posted a couple years back. I think it's like scaled back in 2016. And it looked, you know, ram packed uh, in that video. But when I went in today, it's like, oh, OK, it's a little bit more dispersed. Um, but I had no problem with that. I'm, I'm kind of glad that it was low key. Cause then I can uh, not be overwhelmed as I'm navigating around the place. So, you know, just spent a good amount of time asking different vendors, random questions about what it is that they do. Um, just cause I'm new to this entire thing, right. not just the first, my first scale, but also, you know, I'm new to Linux in a general sense. It's only been like maybe five years of using it. So yeah. So, I don't know, man. I've seen some kids on the internet day. that have been using arch for like, Two or three weeks, man. <laughs> Tell me I need to get my no. shit together. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, you got to keep in mind, these kids learn a lot more quickly than we do. That's right. Nowadays, you know, the minds are a bit sharp. <laughs> All right. I got to be real with you. I, this is a side. Jordan's drinking another one of those bastard beverages. There must be nothing in the house. He's drinking caffeine free diet Pepsi. <laughs> that is the fuck you of sodas. <laughs> Jordan, careful with what you're drinking. <laughs> you're, be, you're being monitored <laughs> and judged. Did, did you see anything wild? Um, I tried to keep up with the scale 18 hashtag on the, the Twitters and I, I didn't. So nothing, nothing too crazy. I saw um, some folks in some really interesting outfits, like some, uh, some costumes. Okay. So I wait think a minute. One was there, a frog man. There was cosplay. Tell. There was cosplay at scale. There was a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Um, uh, I don't know, you know if that's a few uh, folks, a few folks with these kind of hats too, which, okay. which was kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I the safety wizards, yeah, we, we know about them. You should totally go up to one of them and call him a safety wizard. See how that works. Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> see, see, I thought normally? they were with BLC, <laughs> left it alone. You know, but safety wizard makes a lot more sense. <laughs> normally on the street, when you walk up to somebody with a traffic cone hat on and you say safety wizard, VLC, they're going to look at you with a blank <laughs> stare. Nay, not at scale. <laughs> they're going to look you dead in the eye and say, get away from me. Yeah, scale, scale is a zone where we do not con we are not concerned mm. with the hats that's brilliant out in man. the street they might call the police maybe it'll <laughs> blow back up again next year do you think you'll be able to talk work into i know you guys were chatting in discord you know, like, yeah like a yeah i mean pass. uh yeah so I'm, I'm hoping next year to actually get the uh, get the full pass in order to go to some of the sessions um i ran into uh one of the guys maintaining the uh the gitlab that their whole setup and community um staying at the same hotel i'm at so we we're chatting it up and he mentioned that oh yeah you know we're we're hoping to i guess next year they're going to do a larger community event they did a big one here but i missed that that was yesterday um just trying to get people involved um contribute to the project build on gitlab etc um but you know he, he, he was he was sad that i missed it i was sad that i missed it as well right um but it's good to know that that is also part of this whole thing you know there's it's, it's more than just linux 
um, is open source in a in a general. Sense. Um, hopefully next year, when 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 there's no virus to be concerned about, um, we'll see more people and uh, have more opportunities to learn a bit more. But I'm excited. This was, I think, again, this is good for a first. If there's one positive thing to come out of this whole uh, virus fiasco, is that I wasn't overwhelmed at a convention. <laughs> so right. So there's all that. right. There's that. <laughs> Everything's yeah, cool, man. I'm glad that that's rocking on. Except for you, Oracle. I heard you were there. You killed Sun. You can die in all the fights. <laughs> um, let's let's give them a pass. <laughs> They're going through some uh, can we look forward to some uh, scale themed videos on your channel? Yeah, definitely. So um, I actually we've got some video inception going. Filming All right. Jill filming <laughs> interviews. So I'll include a small clip of that, but um, it'll just be like a quick overview of going through the expo and uh, nothing too nothing too in depth. I'm really looking for uh, looking forward to LWDW to see the interviews though, because um, I wasn't there for all of. Them interested right in hearing everything that went on yeah man but yeah if you guys are interested is it cool for me to plug, <laughs> plug let's find out <laughs> let's try it let's, let's do it together <laughs> yeah if you guys are interested in seeing the uh scale footage that i was able to put together um oh snap I <laughs> <We're good. laughs> you're being sabotaged locally it's, it's I know, amazing that's, that's what happens when you try to plug in another show on a show man <laughs> I have to get the mic cut and the lights. No, um, yeah, if you check out Kai Linux Cast on YouTube, um, I'll have a scale video up, just footage of the expo and me just discussing my, my experience as a first timer oh, and a new Linux user. And yeah, man, that's fine. Right it. on. <laughs> yeah, but appreciate you guys, like, you know, throwing this whole thing together and like the whole crew here has been awesome. You know, it's as if the Discord. Well, is alive. It, it, it's, yeah. <laughs> until it's over, it's completely unsanctioned and unofficial. Then once there's no, no police reports or warrants or anything, <laughs> then, we'll... then we can the say it was totally young, planned. Yes. Allegedly. Night is still All right, young. man. See, That's brilliant. All right. Y'all take care. See ya. Yeah. All right. Who do we got uh, next? Oh, is that an Alan? <laughs> Hey, Alan, what's up? Long time no talk. Hello. Now you have life. The fourth safety hey. wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So uh, I heard you were put in charge of videography once more. Yep. Yep. Basically, you yep. want a camera, so you're in charge now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Go for it, Pedro. you got to do some work. Okay, so... Um, uh, Differences between last year and the experience of following Jill around and basically interviewing the people that she wanted to interview to this year. Noticeable improvement? Uh, yes. I'm um, making sure that uh, she gives the microphone to the other. Thank you. Being interviewed. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Me and um, hours of editing. Thanks, you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, what actually, camera have you been using? Nikon D three thousand. Yeah, Nikon D thirty three hundred, just same as uh, last year. Right. Um, <laughs> you also got a, you also got a D three S and a Panasonic, uh, some some camera. Their cameras back up, but uh, yeah, main camera is still the same. What's up with the lights in that room? I don't know. Maybe you check the wiring or something. I don't know. I just, I, I'd be throwing <laughs> stuff at people at this point, man. <laughs> uh, okay, out of like um, having to like record everyone and all that, what, what was the coolest thing there? Like for reals? Ah, uh, oh man. Um, Uh, I don't know. Things have, uh, uh, recording wise, things have been more calm, normal. This not, can't really say there's. Did you see like a booth or a presentation anything. or anything? It was like, oh, that's neat. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Um, I guess when I was filming some B roll footage, there was this, uh, there was this, uh, LED cube with plasma effect on it. Uh, what, yeah, what, what was, was powering cool. it? 
Spike? Uh, Go. The Go le- programming language. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about the hardware? Tiny Go booth. Uh, the hardware. Uh, I forget what they said it was. Um. Um. They they said that there were no P- FPGAs involved. Which apparently is an achievement regarding uh, LED arrays. Uh, okay. <laughs> In the world yeah. of addressable RGBs, you'd think that whatever. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Did you? Oh no! Um, fine, cut see. me off again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. You couldn't cut me any deeper. <laughs> What what did a uh, man ah uh, now that I want a SCO t shirt to wear because Oracle was there right yes they were um I didn't really get a good look at their booth uh, it's for the best oh, really there yeah. mm-hmm. I mean you didn't want to like you know snap ah why did you kill Sun you monsters <laughs> the only reason you bought Sun was to kill Google and you failed at that too because you suck. Yeah. Anything else, Alan? What can the beautiful people look forward to in the videos to come? Uh, well, let's see. Rampant profanity. Well, lewd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jill actually losing it yeah. with someone and throwing the microphone. Nah, man. I want to see like behind the scenes, like a <laughs> mockumentary <laughs> shot, like at the house, road rule style. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, the night's still young. I might still have something to record oh, yet. Yeah. Instead of Big Brother, okay. it could be Oh Bother. Be really... <laughs> oh <Yeah>. Bother. <laughs> okay, uh, so I guess we need to talk about the uh, Safety Wizard hat. Tell us about it. Oh, How'd you get it? Right, yes. <laughs> the uh, Videoland booth was actually uh, raffling these off um, hourly. Oh. All right. Yeah, so, <laughs> see, once every see. hour, you... you... <laughs> Okay, we'll cut that out, Pedro. The original story that we got much better. Yeah, yeah much no, better. that's disappointing. <laughs> uh, so I mean, uh, at least did they like choo choo though? Um, I'm just messing. Choo choo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this legendary story, Bruce Campbell esque with a as he ripped the. But no, they were raffling a one off every hour. All right, right on. Still, you got a hat, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. Who's going to try to take it from you? Uh, well, Jordan already did. No, I mean like for keepsies. Yeah, oh, no, uh, actually take it as it not let you yeah, have it yeah. back. Yeah, who do you think that first person <laughs> uh, for that conversation is like, so Alan, about that hat? Hmm. I would probably still say Jordan. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, cool. Is there anything else? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's about it. Um, Do you have someone yeah. in line up next? Uh, yeah, apparently so. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> here, man. See you, man. Up. <laughs> All right. Have a good All right, one. Thanks. See you. <laughs> Seeing how long I can go between breaks. <laughs> oh, it's Jill again. <laughs> Whoops. No, it's someone new to our community that I want you to you to me and he has a fun story to tell that right. what happened at scale how exactly Hello. did you get roped into this hello everyone hi thanks jill what's going uh, on how exactly did jill uh convince you to do this blackmail it's usually blackmail or um, uh, kidnapping i'm not exactly sure but here i am so all right, so you this got a story our, to right. tell, man. We were promised yeah, a story, this, yes. This is my first time at the at Scale 18 or any Scale convention, and uh, thanks to Joe, she invited me and told me about it, introduced me to Linux, and uh, so far I'm enjoying Linux and everything she's done for me and you know taught me. But uh, <laughs> anyways, to the story, I I. I'm looking for the place, right? I'm walking over and I see this huge line. So I, I, I wait in line, but I do remember Joe saying that all I had to do was go up to some computers, put in my code and they print out my ticket. And I didn't see that. So I just wait in line. <clears throat> then some people 
uh, uh, older gentleman said, you have to go to another line, get your ticket. I go to the second line, and these these young ladies start passing out these um like little sheets of paper, and they say, write your email on them. I'm like, okay. And then the lady comes back, and she's like, do you have your ticket? And I'm looking for my ticket, and I couldn't find it in my emails. Eventually, I find it. And she's like, all right, let me see it. And I show it to her. And she's, she says, that's not, that's not the, the right um, ticket or whatever. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, this is for scale. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's where I'm trying to go. And she, she lifts her finger and points over. She's like, that's scale over there. This is America's <laughs> Got Talent. <laughs> oh man and, and I, I, was almost like, had uh, I was like oh really <laughs> and uh it, it, i should have noticed the signs because i see people like extremely excited i see a lot of like young people but like kind of you know kind of you know quirky looking people and i'm like man these people are so hyped up for scale i'm right. like man you know i am too but i'm trying to hide it and you know, end up finding I'm I'm in the wrong. Yeah. Oh. Wait, so you're saying that people lighting up for uh, America's, America's Got Talent are quirkier than a bunch of Linux nerds? No, nah, man, they just uh, do better drugs. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, eventually right. walked into scale. It was exactly like Joe said. Walked up to the computer, put in my code, registered, got my my uh, little pass printed out with my name. And uh, I was good to go. <laughs> and I've been having fun ever since. Right, Hunt. Do you think you'll be back next trip? <laughs> oh, definitely. I definitely will. You know that, Joe? <laughs> yep. Didn't. Nope. Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't think... Oh, God. I forgot his name. All right. We have our Hello. nostril update. Have Hello. You, have you worn the traffic cone hat yet? No, it makes me sad. You really but should put it. This on. year I did. <laughs> oh, you, you, Jill is hovering. Yes, she doesn't trust you. <laughs> Help me. So, Steve, what's going on? Let's pretend we're doing a live show. What's up, buddy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, this year I uh, I brought an orange to scale. Why? Because um, they ate uh -huh. the banana. Uh -huh. Oh God, I, I had cancer. a banana. Oh. <laughs> and that was the last we saw of Pedro. I don't know, man. I feel bad yeah. for that orange. That's like the smallest little orange I've seen. I was like, oh, little buddy, I'd pick it up and take it to scale with me too, and like show it the world. I'm like, oh, you need to get out. You're getting picked on by all the bigger oranges. <laughs> uh, well, uh, isn't that a tender? Maybe too much of it. I don't. It's a, it's a cutie. <laughs> it was the appropriate color and spherical <laughs> shape, Pedro. Quit being so judgmental. Yes, it was required for a pun. I get it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the orange, the orange dot, is also the logo for Art Center College of Pasadena. So, okay. Um, for the three people who know what that is out there, um, that's a good joke. Okay, there you have it, folks. Hi guys. Uh, so once again, you're helping the, Jill yeah, with right. scale. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, yeah, tell yeah. us about your wheel and its purpose. The wheel of Ooga Booga? Yeah. Um, it's there, it's there mostly to mask the fact that we don't have a really good raffle this year. Oh. Um, it spins, it's colorful, the kids love it. They think they've won something, and in truth, they could, you know, they just spin the wheel and then grab whatever color-coordinated prize we have on the table. Just like um, trick or treat, but just it makes throw some candy like, at them. You know, and like, oh. <laughs> it makes us look <laughs> hip and fun. <laughs> Um, so that was neat though, having uh, Jill's new student there. You can see she is uh, actively growing the community, uh, one victim uh, student at a time. No, you had it right. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoving it down, uh, th uh, teaching them about Linux, yes. <clears throat> <laughs> no, you know, and again, it's, it's, it is the great solution for, for students. Uh, he can't, a lot of students can't afford the full Adobe suite. You know, what are they to do? Well. Luckily, there's an alternative now, and that wasn't the case a few years back, really. So, and uh, I, I am very proud of Jill and uh, what she's done as far as outreach uh, to the students and making all the stuff available and getting them excited about it. It's uh, she's earning her Linux creds here, actually. Yeah, so good on her. 
Yeah. That's awesome, man. We get and a few she's, more. She, you know, she's not behind me. See? <laughs> See? I actually said that of my own free volition. Now you know she's yeah. listening. We both know that, Steve. Cutter. We um, know that she's right there off camera. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Dude. Uh, okay. So, outside of being woken up to have to drive some weirdos to Taco Bell, because... That was hilarious. That was an 80s frat house movie in real life. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, luckily Jill found Empty's wallet wedged like somewhere underneath one of the chairs the next morning. Uh, it was, it was a, that was a thing. With 100 Canadian in it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I guess in Canada you can just ride your moose up to the window of the drive-thru and uh, you know, yeah. get food. But yeah, down Give here they'll tacos, just shoot eh? you. <laughs> so... Did you see anything? Like, I'm sure you walked around. Comedy gold, Jordan. Tried to walk around scale to, like, stave off some of the boredom. Um, did you see anything that cut your eye? Uh, well, there's always the gal that walks around in the gecko outfit. Um, so that's just, that puts a smile on her. <laughs> uh, uh, there's also the gal that's dressed up kind of like a penguin with this little hat. Um, yeah, yeah, there's her. Decent save. Uh, you're, you're not there yet, though. Keep going. <laughs> Keep thinking it. <laughs> what? Keep thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, there, there was an immediate correction, of course, on that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're in a different place, Steve. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't tell if he's froze. Nah, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was well, a very good maybe phrase, yes. No, Thank either, you. I thought maybe you're... <laughs> either way, he was holding his breath. And it's not good for his heart. So it's win -win. Well, I, I, know, I know how you podcasters are. Your vision's based on movement. So I thought I could get out of it. <laughs> yes, we're T-Rexes. <laughs> it is, man. Listen, all podcasters use 3D monitors. Um... You think these are regular glasses? No, they're 3D. No, you've told us many times oh. they're not regular glasses. No, th this is just a bit of class. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Steve. Uh, is there anything Alrighty, else? Alrighty, I can. Nah, I got nothing else. Is that other a CRT than, uh, behind you? It looks like a CRT to your left. That TV behind you. Yeah. Your left. We've been doing this. Your left, Steve. There you go. <laughs> that would be a headboard. Ah. And um, yeah, but it only shows you know those kinds of shows. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Shows where people are getting hit. Uh, <laughs> or bored I'm keeping the family friendly. I don't know. What you... <laughs> uh, what family friendly. Say, Come on. It's the well, ungodly uh, hours of evening. You just had a spocker Warning. in frame, so I'm not sure where you're going. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, thank you, everybody. Big proponent hey, of the spocker. Where's All my right. hand? Live long and prosper. Um, coming out to scale, guys. We got to get the rest of Discord out here. Pedro. Uh, you're unaccounted for, um, as well as other people. Yes, so. and I will be unaccounted for for years to come. Uh, uh, I know, I know. <laughs> Foxy, Foxy, you're next. We're getting you out of here. Okay. All right, guys, take care. Have fun. See you later. Oh, Steve. Someone's, ping someone's pinging me on my phone. It's probably Jordan saying, get the hell. Okay. See you, Steve. <laughs> Ah, uh, damn it. Steve stole the orange. I was going to be like, orange, you glad I brought him he over. He tried. Here's the thing about Steve. He tries. He tries, man. He, he no, tries no, so he, hard. He, gets he so made far. some um, proper puns there. You know, they gave me cancer. That's what he does, Steve. Yeah, it gives you cancer. <laughs> he, he thought it was a very um, 80s frat movie with you and Empty going, hey, man. Let's go to Taco Bell. Oh, it, 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 it was hey, hey, it was me, empty and strider. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gotta throw somebody else under the bus. That'll make it better. Um, yeah. Alan, Just that's what you should have been filming ways. for our documentary. <laughs> yes. Right. I, I, I gotta get I gotta get some shots of him like doing epic wizard poses with the camera stick and the unicorn in the, the camera stick. Hat. Yeah, the monopod. Oh, oh. camera stick. Um, Got it. Camera stick. <laughs> camera it's, stick. It's, it's yeah. a stick for it's a stick for a camera. It, I don't know, man. When you say camera stick, I think about taping a camera to a stick and launching it at somebody. I mean, you could do it with that <laughs> thing. It's pretty sturdy. It's kind of brilliant. <laughs> oh, so uh, scale. Year two scale? of scale. Going down to California. Year two of LGC at scale.
<laughs> uh, as aside from the aside from the additional screening required at the airport. It's about, it went about as well as I could expect it to. Dude, why? Yeah, you got hit for... Was That was leaving Canada too, right? That was leaving... Yeah, the, the, this is why I gotta be up early tomorrow, because they're gonna be like, no, we're not gonna let you out. Aww. But... but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'd think you'd want to let uh, me leave. No, whatever. dude, you don't, he doesn't have tango. He's just gotta go... <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Yeah. <laughs> all right um i think this is gonna wrap it up we got everybody uh yeah pretty much matthew already peace out right. he's like i can't handle people. uh matt 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 you is way too high to be on you right now you know oh, yeah. um on the scale if you, if you, of like unreleased on, episodes that have never been shown to the public outside of the live stream i, I probably got yeah. one that's a little darker And wouldn't you know it, it's the end of the show. So, if you like this uh, scale special, why did I hit the microphone arm? I don't know, but I did. Uh, if you like this scale special, let us know. Go to linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button, and send us some hate mail. Uh, the uh, little thing that you need to choose on the box is LGC Weekly. That's the default one, so it shouldn't be terribly difficult. If for some reason you're a game developer and you'd like to... Uh, to throw us some keys for us to throw some chairs at your video game. You can do that too, just make sure you send three of them. It's not that hard. So, uh, well, it's so I hard. suppose we can If you got some get audio to... shit laying around, send, oh, it, yes. send it to my <laughs> ranch, man. I, I'm running a, a reserve for un, unloved audio equipment. so we can A, a compound, you might say? No, a reserve. <laughs> yes. A preserve. You can, you can put your uh, old audio equipment out to pasture. No, I'm pickling them. I'm putting them in vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> preserving them. I, I mean, that's how you get good sound out of them, right? Pay attention. Just... Dude, vintage, man. It's real retro. Uh, okay, we only got one this week, but that's not a bad thing. Yes. Uh, it comes from Corey. Corey writes, a very, a very legitimate question, which caused me to go, wait a minute. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> LGC subreddit. Corey's like, yo, man, is this maintained by your group, which is reddit.com or Linux Gamecast? If so, is there a way to be granted access if it's still active, question mark. I've stumbled on your podcast a couple of months ago and have been actively listening ever since. Corey. Why would you do that to yourself? I know. Like, really? <laughs> Come back for more? <laughs> who, who, who made that Reddit? Was, 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 that, was that you even? Yeah, I, I made it as a, um, like, just in case years ago, man. I mean, that thing is probably five, at least five years old. Mm -hmm. And we've actively not done a damn thing with it. Oh, it's we've been squat. Right. We've been cool. squatting yeah. on it. Yeah. It was just to make sure, you know, like <laughs> hamsters in bikinis wasn't, <laughs> or, or 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 the whole our trees are marijuana enthusiasts, because <laughs> uh, our our marijuana enthusiasts is just like people yeah. who are like posting about like actual trees. Exactly. Um. Yeah, we're just squatting on it. There's you're not missing anything. If you want to come hang with us, uh, the other six days of the week we're in Discord for patrons, but don't. No, no pay. Well, we have IRC. Um, yep. Hashtag LGC Weekly at Frito. Yeah. That's a great way. It, it gets LGC bridged to Discord as well yeah. for, yeah. The, for the live chats. So. We do have that bridge. So, I mean, if you just like at Vin or at Frojo or at uh, Pedro unaccounted for, we'll get the message and we'll tippy tap you back. Man. Yep. Come hang out with the community. Yeah. <laughs> We're there. Um, maybe Indeed. not as cool as Reddit, but yeah, I'm just kidding. It's a lot cooler than Reddit. Reddit's, yeah, uh, you got to check out that LGC vote, man. That's where, dude, that's where all I the party I think is. I got the 14-year badge on Reddit recently. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm that guy. Are, 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 are you proud of yourself? Man, I'm scared to go back and look. Can you imagine? Like 14 <laughs> years ago. I'm like, oh, no, let's not do that. But if you have any thoughts, hints, allegations, things better left at or you just want to throw some hardware in my face, it'll be kind of hot. Do what Pedro said, but until then, and until next week, we're going to cue that music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. What time is that in California? It is 
four thirty in the afternoon. Five thirty, <laughs> whatever. It's it was, it was, it was four thirty. It, it, it was four thirty when I got back. That's Shut where pre pre super shows are so up live in Discord. We'll go live yeah. for that. Um, audio video versions available after the fact. We got podcasts. We're on the YouTube's. I think we got a YouTube channel. You can watch us there. And uh, check us out. Uh, we're live on Twitch in your face doing that. I'm Vin Stone on Twitter. That's somehow our official LGC Twitter thing now. Deal with it. Uh, I still post random stuff there as well. I'm Jordan Spunk. I'm continually, temporarily, or temporarily continually displaced. Temporarily. And, <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm continually, temporarily displaced as well. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at The Burning Fool. Very rarely, rarely do I post a Mastodon on our Mastodon at Frojo. At Mass. Much to I wonder if I can say Mastodon thing. more. Yes. He just yes, I will get the. Unlocked. I will get the occasional email from uh, Mastodon saying you have notifications. Like, oh great! I suppose I should go read them. Uh, but nah. uh, if you actually want me to read your notifications, at an accounted for on Twitter is where you should poke me because I'll actually read them. I had Give always have that tab open. Remember, kids, <laughs> don't poke the Pedro. Oh, poke, poke me! Pedro. Poke me hard, Daddy. You peg him. Don't poke. Poke him right in his eye. <laughs> hey, let's get the wrong credits in. Why not? Um, Weekly, daily Wednesday, on, so on a Saturday. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, what? What? What, Pedro? <laughs> what? N. Do you want me to pull this over? Right? I got to make it smaller. <laughs> How small can you make it, then? Don't tempt me. <laughs> I think I, the, uh, I think OBS straight up allows you to make it one pixel by one oh, pixel. Oh, Jordan, you know how well you, you've disappeared a scene before. You're like, all right, let's just nuke that one and start over. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that one's gone. It's lost to the it's, ages. It's, it's 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 gone forever. There might have been some good stuff in there. I'm not gonna ever recover it. Oh, uh, good times. Thanks, Brad. Brad. Thanks, that, Brad. That'll probably be right in the real show. On YouTube. All right. Done if I, we'll <laughs> Probably. See <you> next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Patreons. You'll see the real credits later. Five dudes.